Hello everyone! Again, this is Teacher JM and welcome to our YouTube channel. Today, we will be talking about science. Are you ready? Great! In this video, we will be talking about the characteristics of liquids. Are you ready? Come on, let's go! First, let's read the following objectives. The first one, describe the liquid state. The second, enumerate the different characteristics of liquids. And the third, give examples of liquids. Now, let's define what is liquid. A liquid is a state of matter that has a definite volume but no definite shape. It is also able to flow and take the shape of its container. Now, let's move on to the characteristics of liquids. Number 1. A liquid does not have a definite shape. A liquid does not have a specific size or shape, and it only takes the shape of the container in which it is placed. Question. What happens to the shape of a liquid when you pour it from one container into another? Now, let's compare your answer. The shape of the liquid will change based on the container. For example, if a coffee was placed in a kettle, it takes the shape of a kettle. Once it is poured in a cup, it takes the shape of the cup. Another characteristic of a liquid is a liquid has a definite volume. Volume is the amount of space an object occupies. A liquid takes up the same space even when you transfer it to another container. Before we proceed, let me ask you this question. What are the ways to measure the volume of a liquid? Let's compare your answer with mine. Liquid volume is usually measured using either a graduated cylinder or a barrette. Now, let's move on to the third characteristic of liquid. A liquid flows. A liquid can move steadily and continuously. For instance, Water can flow through a pipe or over a surface. Before we move on to the next characteristic of liquid, let me ask you this question. What is the movement of the water coming from a faucet? Now, let's compare your answer. A continuous stream of water is flowing out of a faucet and falling into a sink below. It is fast. The fourth characteristic of liquid is a liquid may have color, smell, or taste. Some liquids may have color, smell, or taste. Other liquids may not have any of this. Now, let me ask you this question. What are examples of liquids that have sweet taste? Let's compare your answer with mine. We have juices and soft drinks. What other liquids have sweet taste? That's great! 
Now, let's look at the examples of liquids. We have soft drinks, conditioner, maple syrup, shampoo, and olive oil. Can you give some examples of liquids? Wow, that's awesome! Now, let's proceed with this question. Which of the things that you use every day are liquids? Now, let's compare your answers with mine. Are you ready? Water, body wash, shampoo, and alcohol. How about yours? That's awesome! All right, now let's check for understanding. What is a liquid? A liquid is a state of matter that has a definite volume but no definite shape. It is also able to flow and take the shape of its container. What are the different characteristics of liquids? Let's enumerate. First, a liquid does not have a definite shape. Second, a liquid has a definite volume. Third, a liquid flows. And fourth, a liquid may have color, smell, or taste. What are examples of liquids? Can you name them with me? Water, oil, shampoo, juice, and alcohol. And there are a lot of other examples of liquids. And those are the different characteristics of liquids. I hope you learn a lot from our topic for today. Again, this is Teacher JM. Thank you for listening. See you next video. Hello everyone. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe in our YouTube channel, Teacher JM, for more educational videos. Please like and share this video and you can also comment down below. You might also want to avail our free educational PowerPoint templates by doing those things that I have mentioned a while ago and by commenting your email address. Again, this is Teacher JM. Thank you and see you next video.